everybody, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. On my channel, I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. And every once in a while, I reach out to you, my viewers and subscribers, for a little inspiration. So today is one of those days. I'm going to show you some mostly Dollar Tree crafting items that are in my stash. This is going to be participation with you and a giveaway will be included. What I need you to do is at the end of this video, comment two or three items from my stash that you want to see me put together in a home decor DIY. Sunday, March 21st. I will randomly select two or three comments, send you a gift, and then next week sometime show you the DIYs that I have created with your supplies. So here we go. Let's see what I have in my stash. It's a lot. So make sure you have a paper and pencil so you can write down the items you want to challenge me to make a DIY with. order just what I happen to grab from my stash around me. I'm going to also try to show you a variety of everyday items from Dollar Tree and seasonal items so just keep that in mind. All right I have about four or five sheets of this Dollar Tree foam board. I have a couple spring gift bags. These are fairly large. They would make nice signs. Monarch Mom, I love the butterflies. Let's see. This was a wood tag sign from Valentine's Day with a cute little truck on it. I have four of these large, I would guess they're about 24 inches by 6 inches signs. I have four of those. I'm going to try to keep these up so you guys can still see everything I've mentioned. These are something that Dollar Tree pretty much carries year round, at least at my store, these little hard pennant signs. I think I have at least two or three of those. Let's see, two of these galvanized buckets that have the jute twine around them. What else is over here? Let's see. I have a couple of these terrarium planters. Those would be super cute for something. Um, let's see, pizza pans. I've got a few pizza pans. This was a sign from Valentine's as well. It looks like shiplap and has a metal word love on it. I have some of the white cotton nautical rope. Let's see, uh, a placemat, always stay humble and kind. Oh, these are cool, I haven't used these yet. These are rub-on transfers, they're gold letters, so that would be something fun. I have a couple calendars, I think these were actually from, yeah, this one's 2019, and so is this one. So these were a couple 2019 calendars, I could do something with those. So I hope you guys are thinking about things maybe that you have in your stash also, or things you know you can get from Dollar Tree if you're wanting to then maybe recreate whatever I make. Um, let's see, I have one of these wood grain looking charger plates, a little bit, little bit smaller than, actually it's about the same size as the Dollar Tree pizza pan. I have this oval platter from the fall, some, Crafter Square craft fabric. This is really pretty. It's like a green um, plaid. This is a navy and white like gingham. And this is a yellow with white polka dots. Those are really cute. Some 
shower curtain rings. Interesting, but you can always find those at Dollar Tree. Let's see, a couple wood items. I grabbed this a while ago because it has a butterfly on it, but this is a wood box with a lid. And I'm pretty sure most of the Crafter Square have those. Mason jar. Of course, one of my favorites, if you haven't seen me do enough DIYs with tumbling tower blocks, I still have some. Do you want to see more? Let's see, these were out, I'm not sure. I'm still seeing these in stores. It's the wood sign, it's got the bracket on the front that you can slide things into. I think I have four of those, so that's a possibility. Sometimes I find these um, paper books that have a magnetic closure, so I thought I'd grab those out. I've had those for a while. Let's see. Birdhouses we can find at Dollar Tree. These are some of the, these are the solid wood uh, tabletop signs. These are the ones that are kind of hollow. I have two of those from the fall. Let's see. Table tennis balls, you can pretty much always find these in the toy section of Dollar Tree. Some long, let's see, these are 12 inch wood dowels. Some of the wood craft cubes. This is a staple in the kitchen section, these plastic cutting boards with the little handle. I have a couple of these long frames. I have used these before in a DIY, but I still have two of those. Let's see. Um, oh, I still have a couple more of these four by four. Well, this is four inch by four inch. I think these are about six inch square glass frames that stand. Let's see, some of these round, thick, pieces of wood that have a string on them. I know they also have stars and some scrolly type shapes. I have these heart chalkboard tags, some square wood planks, a few more things. So I hope you guys are making your list. And I really do want you to challenge me. I mean, don't make it completely ridiculous, but I think you guys are gonna do a great job picking two or three things for me to, I have to put them together in one DIY. So um, let's see, I have a few more of the carrots from spring. I have these uh, pots from St. Patrick's time. I was going to use them at my daughter's Harry Potter birthday party, but we didn't use them. So now they're in my stash. I have a microfiber mop head. This is the kind that has white and gray. Um, a wreath form. I have three of these mirrors that I've had for a while. I've actually used these together on a table for a center table centerscape. Some of the chalkboards, an adhesive cork sheet, and I have this self adhesive that looks like wood plank. So, do you guys think you can challenge me with two or three items? All right. So today, when I'm posting this, is Wednesday, March 17th. So you have until midnight Eastern time on Sunday, that's March 21st, to comment. And then I'm going to Monday morning, I'll shut off comments, and then Monday morning I will pick a couple winners. And then I will um, email those people or message you to send me your email and we'll be off and running. And then next week, I will create the DIYs and come back to share with you what I created. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys are excited to be involved in this. I'm thinking there might be a part two to this challenge where I then challenge my viewers to create something as well with those items. But more about that in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.